5. Risk of Bronchoconstriction Bronchoconstriction, the narrowing of the airways in the lungs, poses several risks that can impact respiratory function. Here are five potential risks associated with bronchoconstriction. 1. Respiratory distress. Bronchoconstriction can lead to difficulty breathing, resulting in respiratory distress. The narrowing of air passages makes it challenging for individuals to inhale and exhale effectively, causing increased respiratory effort and discomfort. 2. Hypoxia, low oxygen levels. Constricted airways reduce the amount of oxygen that can reach the lungs. This can lead to hypoxia, a condition characterized by low levels of oxygen in the body. Severe bronchoconstriction may compromise oxygen exchange, affecting various organ systems. 3. Exacerbation of underlying respiratory conditions. Individuals with pre-existing respiratory conditions such as asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, are particularly vulnerable. Bronchoconstriction can exacerbate these conditions, triggering more severe symptoms and potentially leading to respiratory failure. 4. Increased respiratory workload. Constricted airways force the respiratory muscles to work harder to move air in and out of the lungs. This increased workload can lead to fatigue and respiratory muscle exhaustion, making it more challenging for individuals to maintain adequate ventilation. 5. Anxiety and Psychological Impact Experiencing bronchoconstriction can be distressing, causing anxiety and psychological stress. The fear of not being able to breathe freely can further exacerbate symptoms and create a cycle of heightened respiratory distress. 6. Impaired gas exchange. Bronchoconstriction can hinder the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the lungs, leading to impaired gas exchange. This disruption can result in hypoxemia and hypercapnia, compromising the overall respiratory function. 7. Respiratory Infections Constricted airways may impede the effective clearance of mucus, increasing the risk of respiratory infections. Stagnant mucus provides an environment conducive to bacterial or viral growth, leading to infections such as bronchitis or pneumonia. 8. Decreased Physical Activity Tolerance. Persistent bronchoconstriction can limit an individual's ability to engage in physical activities. Reduced tolerance for exercise and daily tasks may contribute to a sedentary lifestyle, impacting overall health and well-being. 9. Sleep Disruptions Nighttime bronchoconstriction, often associated with conditions like nocturnal asthma, can disrupt sleep patterns. This may lead to sleep deprivation and fatigue, exacerbating respiratory symptoms during waking hours. 10. Quality of life impairment. Chronic bronchoconstriction can significantly impact a person's quality of life, affecting daily activities, social interactions, and overall emotional well-being. Diagnostic and laboratory assessments, pulmonary function, tests, PFTs, purpose. Evaluate lung function, including measures of airflow, lung volume, and gas exchange. Relevance provides essential information on the extent of bronchoconstriction and helps in assessing the effectiveness of interventions, peak expiratory flow, PEF, monitoring, purpose, measures the maximum speed of air expelled during forced expiration, relevance, useful for at-home monitoring, allowing patients to track changes in airflow and adjust treatment accordingly. Chest X-ray, purpose, Rule out other respiratory conditions and assess the overall lung structure. Relevance helps in identifying any abnormalities or complications associated with bronchoconstriction. Arterial blood gas, ABG. Analysis. Purpose. Evaluates oxygen and carbon dioxide levels in the blood. Relevance. Assesses the impact of bronchoconstriction on gas exchange and guides respiratory support interventions. Complete blood count, CBC. Purpose. Identifies the presence of infection or inflammation. Relevance. Useful in assessing whether bronchoconstriction is complicated by infections, which may require specific treatments. 
prescribed medications, 1. Bronchodilators, albuterol, short-acting beta agonist, 2. Fluticasone, inhaled corticosteroid, 3. Leukotrien, modifiers Montelukast. Nursing interventions, 1. Administer bronchodilators. Provide prescribed bronchodilators promptly to alleviate bronchoconstriction and improve airflow. 2. Monitor respiratory status. Continuously assess respiratory rate, lung sounds, and oxygen saturation to detect changes and guide further interventions. 3. Positioning and breathing techniques. Instruct patients on optimal positions for breathing, such as sitting upright, and teach relaxation techniques to reduce respiratory distress. Nursing safety considerations. 1. Adverse effects. Monitoring. Regularly assess for adverse effects of medications, including palpitations, tremors, headache, and nervousness. Report any significant changes promptly. 2. Fall prevention. Recognize the potential side effects of medications, such as dizziness or lightheadedness, and implement fall prevention measures, especially in older adults. 3. Infection control measures. Emphasize infection control practices, particularly during respiratory infections. Educate patients on hand hygiene and minimizing exposure to infectious agents. Nursing health education. 1. Self-management. Education. Educate patients on self-management strategies, including recognizing triggers, proper inhaler use, and creating an action plan for exacerbations. 2. Environmental allergen awareness. Provide education on identifying and minimizing exposure to environmental allergenes that may contribute to bronchoconstriction. 3. Lifestyle modifications. Discuss the importance of maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including regular exercise, a balanced diet, and smoking cessation, to enhance overall respiratory health. Nutritional Considerations 1. Anti-inflammatory diet. Encourage a diet rich in anti-inflammatory foods, including fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and fatty fish, to help reduce systemic inflammation. 2. Hydration. Emphasize the importance of adequate fluid intake to maintain optimal respiratory secretions and prevent dehydration. 3. Nutrient-rich foods. Promote a diet with sufficient nutrients, including vitamins C and D, magnesium, and antioxidants, to support overall respiratory health. Nursing collaborative care. Collaboration with respiratory therapists. Work collaboratively with respiratory therapists to optimize respiratory treatments and ensure a coordinated approach to patient care. Consultation with allergy specialists. Collaborate with allergy specialists to identify specific allergenes and develop strategies for allergen avoidance. Multidisciplinary care team. Collaboration. Engage in collaborative care with physicians, physical therapists, and other healthcare professionals to address the multifaceted aspects of bronchoconstriction. These holistic approach to bronchoconstriction ensures a comprehensive care plan that encompasses medication management, nursing intervention, health educations, safety considerations, nutritional support, and nursing collaborative care. Always tailor interventions and education to the individual patient's needs and medical history. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.